How's it going everyone? This is Mark with AtTech, and in this video we are going to be checking out iStat Menus 6. If you are a Mac power user, this is definitely the best app for you because not only does it tell you things like your CPU usage and temperature, but it also gives you notifications and tells you even more detailed things like your sensors, your network activity, and so much more. So we're going to check that out in this video and see if maybe you should want to pick this up for yourself. So previously, I used several different apps to monitor my Mac's usage. I've been using an app called Temperature Gauge Pro to monitor the CPU temperature and the fan RPMs. I've also been using Memory Clean to see how much memory I have available. And I've been using Intel's Power Gadget to monitor the usage, uh, core voltage, and the frequency on my CPU. But now that is all in one place with iStat menus. There's a lot of different ways to customize not only what you see, but also the way it looks. We can pause all of our widgets up in the top right here with this pause button. We can change the color, the overall default color of the menu bar, as well as the drop downs. And we choose how often they update. Now under notifications, we can add as many as we want and we can get notifications for things such as weather all the way up to if you're exceeding a certain temperature on your CPU, or your GPU is under a heavy load. You can set all of these things. You can choose how you want the alert to show up, how often, how long it stays up, all the sort of stuff you can customize with your notifications. So I will show a banner when my CPU temperature, I'll go find my CPU temperature, and we'll, we'll do CPU temperature above, and then we will say above 112. Now weather is one of the interesting things. There is actually an account you have to pay for if you want to use this. So it does have in-app purchases kind of, but you do get a free trial with your purchase. So you can th see things like their temperature, uh, the conditions, and of course you can get notifications for that. That's not the main feature of this app. That's not why I wanted this. So we'll skip that for now and we'll check out CPU and GPU. Now up here in this bar is our active items. These are things you'll see up here. And then inactive items are other things that are available to see. So if I want to see my load on my GPU, I can add this. This is GPU, and then I can drag this in right there. Now if we take a look up here, we'll see it says GPU with our status of how much it's being used. And we can even drag in percent. So now my GPU is 96% utilized right now. And you can just drag this out, and then we'll go right away. Now you can set up a hotkey to activate any of these, and that hotkey will then open up this menu right here, where we can see things like our usage, um, our frequency, the temperatures, and even more stuff, if you want to do that. Now we can choose some settings based on what it will display up top, but the biggest thing we want to change is in our edit dropdown section, that is this right here, we can choose what's enabled, what's disabled, and you can reorder everything. We can change colors, and you can really customize this to have what you want to see. So I don't care about how long my computer's been on, I don't want to see that in that menu, so I disabled it. And I move my GPU up higher, so I can see that information higher up rather than down below. There's a ton of different things you can do with this, and it's just a really great way to play around with it. Now a bonus tip is that if we click on something like this, we can choose different settings. We can change the color, we can change the graphite, and other settings that are related to each thing. So for our CPU, we can change that color. There's a ton of different things you can do, so it's a really nice thing. Next we've got memory, and I'll turn this on so we can see how that looks up top. And we can change things around, maybe I don't want this bar graph, and it will say how much is utilized, how much is free, and again, we can change settings such as how many processes in the app size format, size rather than percent, whatever we want to change. And then our edit dropdown, again, we can do a whole bunch of different things. We can see what we want. We have our pressure, the memory, the processes. So maybe I don't want applications. I uncheck that, I hit save, and now applications is gone from there. Disks, we can view the available space on disks as well as utilization and read and write speeds as well. 
And on network, we have one of my favorite things ever, is this is the network one. And I've changed a couple of these settings down here. Before it was in um, kilobytes and megabytes per second, but I changed that to megabits. I want to know if I'm downloading at my correct network speed, if I am transferring files to my server at the right speed. So that is what I changed up here. And so now it will show me in megabits per second. And again, we can edit the drop down. Maybe we can get rid of our public IP. We'll hit save. And then if we go here, we can see that our public IP information is gone. We've got really nice graphs so we can see spikes of usage. So we can see the 141 upload. So I probably uploaded something to my server. And then we got 162. So maybe I downloaded a file from the internet. And we got different usage that we can see throughout our previous times. And if something's using a lot of data, you can know what that is. We can take a look at how much upload and download it's using. And I can tell that if it's a kernel task, it's something that's going to my server. And if it's Chrome, maybe it's a download. So you can monitor and try to troubleshoot some of your networking issues. Sensors is the replacement for Temperature Gauge Pro. And with this, we can see the same things that I have been able to see right here. But now it's in this other app. We got our temperature, we got our fan RPMs. And again, we can change stuff around. We can drag in different icons if we want to do any of that. Clicking on that temperature will show us all of the different temperatures, every single thing that has a temperature on the computer, which is really crazy. It's a lot of stuff. We can see all these different things that you can throw in your menu bar. There are a lot of things and it just keeps scrolling and scrolling. And you can get notifications, like I said before, for if a temperature goes over a certain amount. Battery and power. We can see things like battery on our AirPods or on our keyboard, Bluetooth things, as well as your actual computer's battery if you're on a laptop. A ton of cool things with that. We got our time, if you want to see time up there as well. And combined is a really neat thing. You can show items in the menu bar, and rather than having you know one for network, one for CPU, these can all be combined into one dropdown, and you can have it in a more simplified format. So there you go, that is an overview of iStats Menu 6. It's a very great app for power users who want to monitor their computer resources and usage. I really like the ability to monitor my network speed. I think that's a really nice thing. I love seeing if I am writing to my server at the correct speeds, how fast my download's going. You can do a ton of different things with this. There are limitless possibilities to every single thing on here. And it's a really great app, it's super powerful. And if you want to check it out, I'll drop a link to it in the description below. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with That Tech, and I'll see you in the next one.